Hello there. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Please make sure that you have paper out and a pen or pencil so that you could write down today's assignment because you never know. Now we have been working hard, haven't we, on the Anna Hempstead Branch essay all about that poem that she wrote, The Warrior Maid. All about who? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Oh, Joan of Arc. Yes, such an interesting historical figure. Yes, Joan of Arc. She definitely was. Okay, so we've been working really hard on that um, essay. Correct? Yes. I want to talk about that briefly here. At this point, which step are we on in the writing process? We have pre-writing, drafting, editing and revising, and publishing. Yes, we are on the second step which is your drafting step. So at this point, no, you're not publishing. You're not doing the final copy. You're nowhere near that. You're still doing the draft. So you've got plenty of time before you got to publish that wonderful essay to make corrections. So remember that. Please keep that in your mind. You are doing the draft at this point. You have three paragraphs done. Again, draft. Just the draft of three paragraphs. The introduction with three questions and two of the three body paragraphs. Make sure that they start with your transitions, such as to begin with comma, next comma. Okay, and then you answer the question. Follow it with the proof, namely the evidence. And you might need several sentences to make the point. You might need six sentences. You might need eight. Please don't think, oh, I've always been ta taught five sentences. And then give me four sentences to hopefully uh, make the point. And I look at you and say, where's the rest of the paragraph? You're not done. You haven't made the point. You haven't su truly supported that sentence. So keep that in mind. You might need eight, nine sentences, folks. Okay. Are you ready for the assignment? I am. Let's do it. For today, since we're still working on the branch essay, I need you to work on paragraphs four and five. They are due today. So you've got your third body paragraph, which will answer the third question. And then you got the conclusion, paragraph five. Now, please note with paragraph five, follow the PA writing formula for the conclusion. It needs to begin with in conclusion, comma, not in summary, finally, in summation, in conclusion, comma, and followed with a final thought. One that does not repeat something that you've already written in your essay. And then you come up with your quote. Be creative with the quote. As my mother always says, as my teacher always says, Make sure you follow the setup with the quotation marks and the like. Be creative. Remember, your quote must deal with the essay. Once you're done with that quote, don't forget your last sentence. I agree. Exclamation point. Please follow that. Only three sentences. You've got to follow that format. Okay? So once more, paragraphs four and five today. With paragraph four, you might have a total of 10 sentences. Look at that first sentence in that paragraph. Did you make the point? Did you prove that you love spaghetti? I'm just saying, that you love spaghetti. If you haven't, then you're gonna continue. If you have, fine. If you've done it in six sentences, fantastic. Otherwise, keep writing. And only three here. PA formula. Please remember that. Okay. Any questions? No? So here is the question of the day. Answer this one. Here we go. Here he is. Do you like clowns? Here's the clown. Do you like clowns? Some people do, and some people don't. 
Okay? So remember, do you like clowns? Let me know. Yes, no. And like I said, here's my clown of the day. Okay. Everything is due today. And the clown says, bye-bye. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. Till next time, bye-bye.